Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in again. I actually have a lot more advice to give you about the NSF URFP. In fact, I think today would be a good time for me to introduce what I feel was probably the biggest resource for my application. And this is aside from all the wonderful professors and peers who helped me with my application. Um, this resource actually helped me to provide the backbone of how I would go about everything else and how I would structure my essays and develop my voice. And so, with that in mind, I introduce you to www.alexhunterlang.com. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so let's start by opening our web browser and typing in Alex Hunter Lang in the search engine. The first thing that's going to come up is the website that we were looking for, so go ahead and click that. And ta-da! Here we have a gold mine of NSF fellowship advice. Alex Hunter Lang, the guy who invented the web website, has a lot of amazing credentials, um, so he's a pretty trustworthy source. He has his PhD in physics, he's already completed a postdoc, and what's really cool is he was a successful NSF applicant in 2010. So I guess his way of giving back um, to the science community is with his website, which offers a lot of advice for prospective NSF applicants. Um, he tells you exactly what the NSF fellowship is, so you know what you're getting into. He gives you the basic outline of the application process, tips for getting started, um, lots of general advice. So anything I missed out on in my previous videos, I guarantee you can find it here. Or if you're curious about the essays and the structure, this is a pretty good resource to go to. Um, he kind of covers everything in really high detail. And what's probably the most amazing part about this this website, the thing that stood out to me and made me just like absolutely hooked, was the fact that he actually provides years of previous winning research proposals and essays. So I don't know about you, but when I can actually look at a previous winning essay, or research proposal and see um, trends throughout these essays of what made them successful and just be able to see what kind of styles and what kind of topics people discussed within their essays that to me is absolutely key and so here we have them in this excel um, table here he gives you the age of the applicant meaning if they applied as an undergrad or a grad student whether they won or got an honorable mention and he actually provides links to their research proposals and personal statements. Yeah, so don't let this resource go to waste, guys. I remember when I found this website, I was just like, okay, I think I might actually have a shot now. Because I was able to read other people's essays, like this one here, and see, okay, so this is how they structure their essays, abstract, background, and motivation. This is how they incorporate intellectual merit and broader impacts into um, the composition. And just being able to read that and read tons of them over and over, eventually you get a sense of what you need to do and what you need to bring to the table, or how you can craft your package in order to get it to fit what NSF is looking for. Okay, so... I hope this was a good introduction to the NSF Fellowship website by Alex Hunter Ling. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're like me, you're probably super curious right now and you want to just go look at it yourself and explore some more. And I don't want to get in your way, so by all means, check it out. I promise you it will only help. Okay, well, that's all I have right now. If you found that the least bit helpful, then I will continue to make videos and continue to bring advice your way. Um, just like and hit subscribe. It's that simple. If it's something that it makes sense or you have questions or 
you need one-on-one -on -one advice, feel free to comment below or send an email to theblendingineers.co at gmail.com. But really guys, I wish you the best on your application and I hope that we graduate um, double the amount of black engineers than we did last year and that the blend engineers just continues to be a revolution. But that's up to you and me, so stay positive. I'll see you next time.